I like a zoo. I like a zoo. Special features. Goodness. So we just finished Tyrell's last shot, and that was a wrap on the Dauntless movie. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, um, it was. It was uh, interesting. What do you think are some of the challenges we had that you can remember there? Um, we did. We had quite a few struggles with the boot hall because it was such a contained space that we had to like film this one corner, make it seem like it was like all the way around the treehouse. But there was a road there and cars, and it just the house was in the background and things. And also we ran into trouble because. I got sick part way through, and my voice started to change. So yes, we're gonna yeah. have to audio over some of that. But action! Wait, I will come. Why do you have your eye patch off? <laughs> Go ahead. He wasn't all that nice to you. Hold it. It was. It just. It was quite a uh, hard because the very first night of shooting it started raining when we filmed scenes outside. That's when I got sick. And we had to completely change the script because we were on a heavy time crunch, so there were some really interesting challenges which you'll learn about today. So this is our kind of special features. We're filming the movie Dauntless right now, and it's basically a story of uh, this archer Tyrell, and he meets this boy Merrick, and they go off on adventures. And so this is our first day of shooting. Uh, it's 8.40. Uh, we just did outside shots with Tyrell gets attacked by a triclops. Hey there, guys. Um, this is Marcus. Yeah. Um, this is so this. we basically got rained out. We get rained out tonight because if it continues to rain like this, because we wanted nighttime shots because the tavern's on fire and we want that glow from the lights at night. So. Uh, we're going to try again tomorrow night, and it is Sunday right now. So, this is like a blog, I guess. If you like blogs, blogging. So my favorite part, probably, as this character was just filming with uh, Merrick, or Marcus, uh, when we were doing the scenes out of the ponds. That's our big journey shots, like where we filmed the golden light and us walking away and just us meeting. But... Uh, it was a very small space, and I think we made good use of that. And also, if you can see, we got a pretty cool costume. I got this amulet here. This is the main kind of treasure of the film. But it's basically a hoodie with pants and stuff. And if you can see, this is our set with Astragus for our last day of filming. Uh, it's actually on the bed, so when the table shakes, it's the bed spongy, so it's like makes it easier. And we just filmed basically all the inside shots in this one little corner, so... Time to fly. Let's go. So, the costume looks really good, but there are annoying things like this quiver, for instance. I was running, and I, I have to put my hand on the arrows because usually I elastic them together for those shots, but uh, we kind of lost the elastic on our location shoot, so they were like, they were going everywhere making this racket, so these are, I'm done with those. This eye patch, it's, I, it looks cool, but uh, when we were walking across this log, I, I kind of was afraid that I would slip because I, I don't have, I have poor depth perception because I'm missing an eye. My patch, ready? This is hard to cut. It's hard to do with an eye patch. <laughs> um, the other thing is I was running and this cape, it. This cape, it, it catches on my boots when like my legs go up and I catch and I, I kind of yank back and then I fall. And in one scene I was running and I kind of tripped and I fell straight into this tree which really hurt. <laughs> so I had to play many characters and I was probably had the highest amount of characters I played in the in this film. Well, not probably, definitely. I 
I played the wizard, I played the goblins, and I played Merrick, who... Merrick was, had the best costumes, actually. I know he has... People have been making fun of me because it looks like a dress, but it's... I'm supposed to be kind of this cautious mountain boy, and I have sort of clothes that are designed for winter, and I have the big boots and everything, but I actually didn't have trouble. I ran with it, I did all my stuff with it, but Terrell, on the other hand, he had the cooler looking costume and completely bit at it sometimes. So, you get to see that throughout the film as well. I was the the wizard I played was probably the most annoying because the beards are very scratchy to put on, and indeed, I, I was a very weird character I had to play, and it's kind of hard. I have to try and make my voice old. This is the mark of Yathorian kings. You are of noble blood, my friend. What is your past? And for the goblins, well, there's really not much to say. You stick on some teeth and a mask and a helmet and have some kind of rags on and you're good to go as long as you keep on a nasty looking face, so. So, this is basically a low budget film, but I think it's, it's turning out really well because we have really good CGI. Uh, like, if you saw in the fire and the explosions and just the overall, like, laid in effects, but um, since it's all, like, um, it's all done by us, um, I will be composing music, so I'm just, I'll kind of give you my thoughts on that, so I'm basically thinking of, for Merrick's theme, I'll make it kind of cautious and, like, almost happy, but at the same time kind of sad because he lost his parents, supposedly, and for Terrell, it's kind of more gruff because he is, like, you can see he's, he's got, like, scraggly hair and he's unshaven and... So unibrow. I'll make it unibrow. So I'll make it kind of more like dark and like not mysterious, but just deeper sounding instruments. So and for the wizard, I'll probably use like I talked about the Glockenspiel once. Um, just just little things like that, and just like simple chimes or I don't know something like that, just to make it because he is a bit odd, and it just helps with the scene quite a bit, it really pieces it together. So... I'm making tunes for you. I see. We're in the position to injure each other. Your sling twig wouldn't even harm a coyote. So the big challenge with this film, I think, was not only because it's Victoria that we film this in, and it's raining every day, pretty much, I mean, there were a few good days There's not raining every day, which we filmed on and took advantages of that, but the main problem was that we filmed at about 8 o'clock at night out in, the, out in the rain for when Terrell escapes the burning tavern and just, just had his encounter with vicious, nasty, hideous goblins. And he's outside and he's, he's, he's running away from the door of his house and it started raining while we were filming and it's... It rained and we got completely wet and we had to be on the ground, so we were... I mean, I wasn't bare feet, so I, was, I probably had the higher chance of being sick, but I, the other... My co-actor, Daniel, he, uh, he had already just passed a very bad cold and that had got him sick for quite a while, so now he got... He started to get sick again and complain about his voice and Terrell is sounding awfully funny in his kind of Batman voice. And... Action. I don't really remember anything. My child is... My child is... <laughs> <laughs> and I was... It's just really hard to deal with it because when we were filming, you know, it's hard being with somebody who's sick and he had to have naps during filming and it was... It was quite the challenge, actually, that we had to work through. We had to narrow a lot of the script down because of these different issues that had come up due to this. Special features. So right now we are just going on location shoot. It's day three, I believe. We're going to a pond, ponds and meadow, meadowed area, so we can get all this highlighted stuff done. And I'm just ordering it so we can get all the solo shots done first, and then the ones of Tyrell and Merrick. So I see. Try not to break it. Indeed. I just need a little cool for the camera. Uh -huh. Not for the camera. It's for all your fans, Marcus. Yes, my adoring fans. So, you see in the film, I got a bow. It looks like a bow. It's pretty good, but it's plywood. I know, yes. It's not the best, but 
just for a, a low budget film it, it's pretty good when you draw it back with the arrows and stuff so just to be clear I'm not cheap don't get that idea I'm so we're basically gonna in this part uh, talk about uh, you saw in the the boot hall battle we had the guards with the helmets and the shoulder pads so just gonna talk about how that went so the leather jacket I thought was pretty cool and the pants it looked good with the boots but there was one shot you saw where the Merrick tossed down Tyrell's arrows onto this one guard and it's kinda like ugh that was me um, but I was in running shoes because I had to climb up and down the tree and it was more difficult than boots so I just put on shoes instead so that was yeah we had a lot of difficulty with Bootel I mean I was I had to climb up the tree five times I'll be happy to have kids <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's very awkward position. <laughs> in my opinion, climbing with boots is not the easiest thing, but I did so all the same, and I climbed into the tree for it, I guess as we call it, except it's a boot hall outpost. It was it was kind of cool because I got to use my slingshot, which people have been wanting to see the whole time. Oh, Merrick hasn't used a slingshot yet. So I got to have my heroic moment when I shoot the guard's helm. And he turned around and we have a bit of a fist fight, but I shove him off. And that scene was really hard to do. It's very fast and quick, but there's so many angles that are involved. And there's a house on one side, there's another house on the other. There's a few holly trees on one side, which we can use as the background. And then past that, there's the road, and you can clearly see cars and vehicles. And it's, it's in a backyard, so you can't show too much grass either. So it's just quite hard to maintain. All the shots were done in weird angles and lots of close-ups, but it's action scene, so we, we may do with it. Another thing is when we had like the campfire scene and even Bhutal, um, it was, we're kind of like right by a road, so we had to stop filming whenever we heard cars coming. So that was it. It was a bit annoying, but it was. It's really funny when people come difficult. and when people come and give us the stare because yeah, oh, there's a guy wearing a dress and a weird guy in a cape beside him, yeah. and there's the, like, the neighbors the film gave camera. us weird looks. But yeah, we got a few a few looks from people bit, passing yeah. by. I think people were. A bit unhappy with the bow, with the plywood bow, Ed. Yeah. Let's talk about the hair. Merrick's hair is like crazy, if you can see. It's well, I haven't. You know, that's that's the woodman style. They need to keep their heads warm and full yeah. of fuzz. So you know, you got a good mountain hair here. If you can see Tyrell's hair, I'm gonna get a haircut probably today and shave. But this is getting really annoying. Just, just all that. He can't grow a mustache, hardly. It's I clearly not. don't have really good mustache scenes. I mean, you can see a bit of peach fuzz there. Yeah. Except for when he had that big white beard, like, he had to... He had what? What Wait, like a day to grow that, but... The <laughs> big white beard, yes. Indeed, Astravagus was an interesting character. He was. I think his... This set right now... This is our last day of shooting with this set. This is probably my favorite set. Yes, the indeed. Whole movie. It's pretty cool. We're shooting this scene <coughs> hours before I will leave to the ferry and travel back to my home. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is almost one o'clock now, so just better start packing up, actually. Yep. So well, this that's a wrap on we are, Dauntless. We were very excited yeah. to film this movie. I mean, this was yeah. a huge, a huge adventure we, to go through. We've been planning lots it for hassles. like months. There was one moment where we got where where Daniel was almost sad and. We felt like we couldn't do any more of the film. We were going to actually hold off till the summer, because we did not want to narrow the script. We thought there was too much in it, it that's good and that can't be cut, and we were really having a rough time there. And we decided, would we would we film the next part of the summer, or how would that even work? Would I come in the summer? And it's a lot of hassles that went with that. So I'm we really had this scene that it. we cut. It was really cool. We had supposedly we walk into the circle, and all these skeletons come out because it's like a burial ground, but. We had to yeah. cut it just because it, we would have to spend like another hour at the location shoot and people who took us aren't really keen on staying that long. And yes, we it, are yeah. all after all low budget kids yeah. you making this production so we do need to deal with those kind of things. So next movie hopefully we'll get the ring of skeletons. Yeah. And we'll get we'll talk more about this more amulet here. Because this is, it's not really explained all too well like why is Tyrell have this, why is it like it's just we're we're kind of gonna explore this. Hopefully, maybe if we do a second or yeah, well something. Another like, film coming soon. Stories. Coming soon, another film. Goodness. Ta ta. And still, anybody see me vanish? Am, am I gone?
Now, whoosh, 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 go you're gone.